Hello everyone. Today we'll start the topic acylation of amines. So amine react with acid uh, chlorides and hydrides and esters to form amides. And uh, here nucleophilic substitution reaction occurs and removal of hydrogen occurs from the amine. So uh, for example, we take the ethane amine. So what is the structure of ethane amine? It is CH3, CH2, CH3. CH2, NH2, right? And it has one lone pair of electron, the nitrogen atom. Then, if you add acid chloride, so what will be the product? So CH3, C, double bond O, Cl. So you are you are adding acid chloride, and what will be your product now? So first of all. So uh, this will go here and towards this carbonyl carbon, this lone pair, and this will shift here. This double bond will shift here. So what will you get? You will get CH three C H two N here H here positive charge. Nitrogen will have positive charge. Here, carb oxygen will have negative charge. Then chlorine. Here CH three and here NH, right? Now what will happen? That uh, here the chlorine uh, ion will uh, leave. The chloride ion will leave, and you will get your amide. And also this hydrogen atom will leave from here. So. This will leave as H plus ion, and this will leave as Cl negative ion. So uh, you will get your amide now, and this will come here. So now the product will be what? CH three, CH two, NH, C double bond O, CH three, right? And your HCl has been Remove. So this is your amide. This is an ethyl uh, uh, ethane amide, right? So this is the whole uh, mechanism. Similarly, if there will be a diethyl uh, dimethyl uh, amine, uh, then here will be one methyl group attached. Likewise. So this was the primary amine. Uh, now, if you, this is the secondary amine, then also same mechanism will occur. Now, uh, if you react your amine with anhydride, then what will be the product and how the reaction will occur? So this is your uh, benzene amine C six H five N H two, and if you add your acid anhydride, ethanoic anhydride. So what is that? C H three C double bond O, oxygen, then C double bond O and C H three. So, what will be the reaction? Your hydrogen will be removed from amine, and uh, uh, this uh, CH3CO will be removed, uh, and you will get this will be removed as carboxylic acid, and you will get your acyl group attached to the amine, as previously uh, we have seen also. So, this will be formed like CH C6H5 NH. C double bond O C H three plus this C H three C double bond O O H, right? So this is how we form the product. Now uh, this is what this is N phenyl uh, ethane amide, right? So this is amide due to this bond N H C O or C O N H bond. This is amide. Uh, now we can see. That if there is benzoyl chloride and the reaction of um, amine with benzoyl chloride, then what will be the product? So this is methane amine that is CH three NH two, and if you react it with benzoyl chloride that is C six H five CO Cl, then what will be the product? So your hydrogen atom from amine and your chlorine. Uh, from uh, acid chloride will be removed as HCl, and you will get your product as 
uh, this SI uh, or this uh, group C6H5CO will be attached to your CH3NH group. So you will get CH3NH NH C double bond O C6H5 and HCl as your product. So this is what this is your N methyl uh, benzene amide, right? So this is how we can get uh, or we can do the acylation of amines and uh, we can get the amides. One thing more that your uh, this reaction occurs in the presence of a base. So that base should be stronger than the amine otherwise it won't be able to remove hydrogen atom from the amine because amine is also basic in nature right so uh, so we have concluded that the primary and secondary amines react with acid chloride and hydrides or esters to form amides by removal of hydrogen atom from the amines right and uh, the attachment of acyl group to the amine Okay, so this was all about today's class. I hope you have understood today's topic. Thank you.